Hi, it's Hazen. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing therapeutic painting. Okay, so we can use this in our junk journals afterwards. Um, I don't like any uh, smoothness. This actually is very smooth. I meant I meant the painting. Okay, so what you would do is get a knife, uh, this one, <laughs> one of these knives, and just scrape it off. Things like that. It's just fun to do, and I'm going to do it really quickly. Just doing a voiceover. Give you some pointers. There's one where I've put a pattern on it. That one um, I discovered halfway through. I'm thinking, wow, it's such fun to do that. To get effects like that. And all you've got to do is cut things out of it. Use part of it and it looks amazing. Okay. And then you can do things like this as well. That's similar. Yeah. And then that's just getting paint down. I think that's later. So you don't have to use the whole thing. You can use part and it looks, you, you wouldn't be able to tell it's only part. I've used, I've done this before in, um, I've shown you before papers used every day, but not quite along this scale. <laughs> I have got some on Kofi, not these, but some ones I did the other day and they look amazing and I'm really pleased with them. Okay, so it's very therapeutic. Just to get colour down on paint on some, and all I've used is this uh, pink, pinky colour, yellowy colour, and blue, lighter blue, cerulean blue, magenta, and I don't know what that is. Is it lemon? If it isn't lemon, it's similar. This, oh, it is lemon, yeah. So they're basically, I mean, if you've got cyan. That's print colours, isn't it? So if you've got sign as dead as cerulean, that's uh, like print colours, um, which make every single colour you can think of, and they make it. Don't get, I wouldn't use red, I would use pink, that pink, uh, because red would make, if you mixed red with blue, it makes a funny brownie colour, um, because it has, it would have some yellow in it. Okay. Right then. So, do you, know, you like to join me today? Oh, I've got to have a quickly look at these, what I've done. This is another sheet. Okay, this is one I've done orange, all the different, and it's actually comes out very smooth. I have smoothed that out. and not, I've got, done some pictures on there, which I'm intending to cut out. This is the one I thought I would use for this. Okay, it's quite a good background for acrylics. I mean, I could easily draw them on things like that, but that's got a few, I don't know if that's, that's got a few bumps in it. That one I could do on as well, because that's actually very smooth. Well, that is actually, there's any ones that's not smooth, I think are these. <laughs> these ones like, well, that's smooth as well, yeah. Yeah, that's one where I've put a jar lid on, which is this. And um, doesn't that with it. But you can see on the other one, I've, I've actually done a lot more. That's another one I've done that could easily be used like that. Yeah, a lot of these are very smooth. There's the other one. one of my, oh, that one. That one's not quite so smooth because I've pulled mine. But I could still use it, actually. I could still put some little bit so if you see what I mean it is you can use parts of it you don't have to use the whole thing although you can you can use them as journal covers and things like that um, and you could you could copy them because uh, they're your own work okay and also you could use mine from Kofi um, which is slightly different to the so it will tell you it'll say papers I use every day or papers you can use every day or something there we go. So let's go and I'll show you what we're doing today. Right then, so I'm putting some colour down on the um, paint, some plastic there. Just a piece of plastic that covered some stencils actually. Now this is the first one I'm doing. I know what I'm doing for this one because I've got it right here. This is the first one I did. I did actually do some mark making with this one. Okay, that's that one. And yeah, I'm adding all colours and just don't 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 bother with what I'm doing, just adding colours with the knife and it's it's good to add with the knife actually. I not decided to buy some knives the other day and I thought, oh this will be fun. Anyway it is. I'm going to put some I thought that looked a bit dark there, so I'll put some yellow um circles on it in a minute. 
you'll see how and you can do things like this but you can do things like this much more than what i do i basically just get color down which is oh, a lot of fun just so much fun to do I and mean, i'd love to do a load more of these <laughs> yeah i've got the sunlight's got actually that's the sunlight there coming and coming and going this is actually easter day i did this on where are we? Oh, it stopped. Oh no, I just guess getting the lid out. I decided to do it like that, but then I stick it in. Yeah, stick it in and shove it on. You can't. And if, you, if you're on a big screen, you might be able to see a lot better. My screen is very tiny, one point something inches by about two and a bit, three nearly. I don't know, right? Something like that. Right, that's the first one. Okay, it's the next one. Let's have a look. Ooh, this one. Um, this one looks a lot, a, a very much a mess, but it just have I'm just having a lot of fun. It's very, very therapeutic, believe me, really is. So all you've got to do is get colour down and get it off the knife because I couldn't quite get it off that long knife, so I'd use the smaller knife to help me. Okay, there we go. So I'm getting it to the edge, and I'm also, if you notice, doing it on top of the other papers that I'm going to use later. Um, not. Man, you can cover it and do separate ones, but it doesn't matter to me if I get colour on the next one. It's um, just getting colour down on paper, and that's already started if I do that. So <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just getting it all to the edge. Uh, what happened there? Just stop for a sec. Yeah, I do actually. No, I don't actually get in that corner. Yeah, the sun's out again. There we go. The sun's not out today. So it would have been more ideal today, but hey. <laughs> it's getting now colour on this one let's see which one it is is it the one with the oh so this one oh okay i think i'm just finishing that one off <laughs> to do a bit more of that and then i um go back to the other one again okay that one will completely change colour i've started uh, started it off in um yellows and blues but then i add a load of um flame colours okay this is very smooth i can put my hand on that and it's absolutely very smooth when i finish it looks like it's not on there but it is so i'm not doing any gesso to, to put the paint down this is just straight on some cartridge paper i meant to say that i should say at the beginning i might add that to the beginning it's cartridge paper um it's actually Canson 120 GSM drawing paper, I think. There we go, that's the next one. So, wow, aren't I doing these fast, though? And then this next one is, yep, this one. Again, I've done the other way around. I've put, started putting red down and I've put, yeah, a blue on top. You can see the, this looks like fish swimming this way around. I've got the other way around to that. Oh, yes, and I'll do something else to this at the end. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just getting. I think I'm getting paint on the edge of the paper, so I'm just scraping it back onto the <laughs> paper. Yeah, there's some very make some very beautiful colours. Um, just add a little bit of yellow to the blue, and it makes a really lovely. And sometimes I'm mixing the paint on the paper as well. If you look, yeah, there we go. Yes, I fill the whole page of this one. Okay, and then I'm going to do so. Yeah, those with a brush that. That was really stiff that I'd actually probably had with painting or glue or something and it didn't actually work anymore but I thought I may as well use it for this there we go so that's just yellow I'm using there or the lemon if you like I'm using there okay let's get the next one ready so <laughs> right this one is the one where I start to do all the lines and i realized oh that's what's going on here so i'm getting quickly getting color down is that with paint or oh, no it's with the knife knife you can get color down really quickly yeah and i'm using different the different knives i'm using this is one with an elongated but they're just adding colors as it comes it doesn't really matter what i'm adding okay at the moment some at the end i do decide to do an orange one because i haven't got an orange one or two orange ones, I don't know, and that's the one I've used for those pictures that I showed you at the beginning. Right, there's oh, yeah, look at that. See, this is what I mean, like you get this down, and you can do it that way, it's all one way if you like. You don't have to do it 
that as a tool but you can do it like and then I think I do keep scraping it off and adding it yeah it's easy to get some down sometimes if you turn it upside down not bothering soon getting it all the oh this is the next one is it oh well that was good did I not finish that one off there is one where I can't find it might be this one unless that's it wait a minute I don't know yet we'll see Yep, so oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm a bit confused about what about where one of these is, but it might be this one I'm confused about. Yeah, I'm getting lots of blue down and just adding colour, then scraping it off. Yeah, I'm getting it paint all over my paper. <laughs> I'm scraping it off, putting it back on. I think this is that one. So I'm just getting colour down, just putting paint on and then scraping it off with the end of the knife. Yeah. I don't know what else you could use besides a knife. Something metal would be. Metal and flexible. If you haven't got a knife. Um... And you can get them. I mean, mine weren't. I got mine from a cheap shop. <laughs> mine are so. I get them from places like that. Yeah, I think this is my the one I did second. Yeah, I'm just thinking which one. Yes, it is. It's the one I did. The one I've got in front of me now is that one. Just scraping the colour off there. Putting it on, scraping it off. See, I like that one, so I've showed the camera. The ones I like, I showed the camera. I'm going back to the one of the other ones, then. Is that going back to it? I'm going, I'm sure, yeah. I'm going back. I went back to the one I did earlier, I think. I'm just doing the edge now. I love that colour, that beautiful green, greeny blue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. I've got them, yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing it around the edge. I don't know why I went back. I think, well, you can do that, obviously. You can go back to it. And then I'm going to probably scrape some of that off. Just, yeah, some of it, yeah. <laughs> didn't do all of it. So I've got lots of colour down on that one already. Oh, I'm using the lid for this. So you can use different things to get colour down. Probably use a card, actually. A An old plastic card will do get colour down that's all I'm basically doing and it's quite easy to use that would be quite fun and you could use the edge of the card for making lines if you like scraping it off or, or the corner of the card actually yeah so I'm not sure which one this is I think it, let's, let's have a look at this is it this I think it is this one that I've got in front of me now so I'm scraping some off um, that's quite smooth actually so I don't know if I'll leave it like that yeah there we go yeah lots of uh, like a ver uh, vermilion a very bright uh, orangey red and it's just got them bits it doesn't matter about them we can add that to our projects Oh, oh yeah, that's the corner there. Yeah, just added a bit of blue on the corner there. On the next one, so you can give me a wrap in my paper so I can get it. <laughs> ah, is it this one? Oh, perhaps I haven't got one that's missing then. It must be. I think that's this one. <coughs> yeah. Oh, well, the camera jumped then. I must have nudged it or something yep oh there was actually one where I uh, went to make dinner yeah because it <laughs> it might have been there right I don't know why I leave that bit of grey in the middle there grey brown you call it it's very nice actually it looks like a bit of a rainbow close up but uh, from the distance it just looks grey brown <laughs> our next one is this one i think uh let's 
going to end up yellow and yellow and yellow pink and red yeah not much blue on this one there is a bit in the middle as you can see there let's add in some oh on the first page i don't think i mentioned it i got already oh, spilt some paint yeah so i'm lifting it up sometimes so i don't get paint on the other one but sometimes i'm just letting it get on yeah paint already there so i can just spread it and this is the one with the yeah this is the one i used for me pick those pictures i showed you at the beginning yeah so this is ends up it looks quite um textured but actually it's very smooth and it's easy to draw on i suppose it's it's sort of like a gesso effect gesso effect um because obviously it's like a background for the drawing right next one i can see how quick that one was it's an orange one i thought orange yes i can do an orange one i haven't done an orange one yet let's have a look where's the yeah this is the last one i think i have um do an orange one again but then i add blue around the edges and it looks great that's from scraping all the paint off that plastic sheet again it all out the lid as well it goes quite a long way actually yeah so quickly yeah that's that one and then i do start another one off but i don't finish it it's the one that's on the sheet at the beginning so i like the way that that is i'm scraping the paint one way then the other just for, and then just adding some paint to this paper and that's it okay so i'm just adding an outro with this quite <laughs> this is the one i've finished it's really really smooth and that's the one with the patterns on it and things i've done that i'm going to cut out although that looks like it blends in when i've cut it once i've cut it out it won't at all i'm just using the background because you may as well haven't used the back use the uh, paper instead of adding color so you could do things like flowers it's already got the colors in you just have to cut them out there's one of those butterflies okay in there as well so you can look at those close up as well yeah they look really good don't they but you don't have to do things like drawing and that you can use them as tags and anything you can use them as journal colors covers the background tag you can add things like stencils on them i'm thinking about adding stencils onto some in different colors you can add white paint in places as well you could even use do the thing where you add texture so you could add add some white paint or gesso to that and it will or even texture paste and add it to things like that as well anything like that anything crazy like that as i say right then so thank you so much for watching today hopefully a nice quick intro there for you <laughs> intro uh intro to uh, this sort of painting it's i love it i mean i'm gonna have to do more this was so fun and i used quite cheap paper it's not acrylic paper and it worked absolutely fine and um, i absolutely loved it very therapeutic and very fun okay then so please give me a thumbs up that'd be absolutely amazing and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out my ko-fi because you'll find papers on there something like papers i've used every day there's more than this more than that there's other ones as well used and that i've made with watercolor as well this all or in fact there's probably getting off 100 papers now okay then thank you so much and see you again soon